education assistant for the First Unitarian Church in Salt Lake City. Over the past two years, one of our favorite parts of Children's Chapel has been the UU of the week. We've taught the kids about famous Unitarian Universalists from around the world, from anyone from the King of Hungary in the 1500s all the way up to a current day environmental activist from our own congregation. This week, we're going to learn about Julia Ward Howe. She was born in Boston in the year 1819 and died in 1910. She was a famous poet, essayist, lecturer, reformer, and biographer. Julia Ward Howe was an abolitionist, meaning that she worked to end slavery and a suffragette. She even worked with famous UU Lucy Stone to help women secure the right to vote although she never did see that happen in her lifetime. As a poet, she's most famous for writing the Battle Hymn of the Republic, singing glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. Julia chose to be a Unitarian later in her life after much research and study. She said, I studied my way out of all the mental agonies which Calvinism can engender and became a Unitarian. She was lucky enough to be a contemporary with William Ellery Channing, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Margaret Fuller, and in fact heard each of them speak at one point in Boston. Unfortunately, Julia was not very happily married. She tried for a long time to balance her career and her marriage, given that her husband wasn't too excited to be married to a prominent published author. But after he died, she was finally able to tour and give lectures. She created women's clubs wherever she went, helping to unite women, and even preached frequently in Unitarian churches. The reason that we're talking about Julia Ward Howe today is that she was very influential in creating Mother's Day, although she envisioned it as a day of peace. In 1870, she wrote in a Mother's Day proclamation for peace, that our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. She never did quite convince the government to create a Mother's Day for Peace. But 36 years later, the daughter of a woman who worked with Julia Ward Howe did succeed in bringing Mother's Day to America, although the day has a very different meaning Thanks for learning about our UU of the week. We'll see you next time.